Ludwig von Beethoven. That's probably a good one. Now, these people paid to have these books sit in a storage for years, by the way. Nice. That might be a jackpot. What do you guys think? Uh, United States Military Academy. That's pretty tight because he did go to uh, West Point. And so West Point yearbook. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pirates of all ages, it is I, your captain speaking, and we are here inside my storage unit, and we are still trying to get through this unit here. We made a little video yesterday, and we are here to go through the last bit, because we are searching for some goods and some books, and we still have some boxes we didn't even get through, but there's one box I know I'm looking for. I need a set of books and a photo album. We got two right down here all this stuff to go through still very exciting i think we found a lot of great stuff so far if you missed it here's some of it and here's some of it and there's some right there but you have to go back and watch that video anyway let's get started before we do make sure you got all notifications set to all and if you don't already subscribe do it's free and if you're having a problem with notifications just simply unsubscribe resubscribe and hit the bell again and we'll fix that let's see what we can find today let's see if we can find the box And so it looks like it's possibly going to be books. Very heavy. All right. American Warplanes. The Ides of March. Ooh! My grandma used to have a dog like this named Lassie. Well, it, wasn't, it was named Grady. What am I talking about, Lassie? She looked like Lassie. Her name was Grady. The Devil's Children. Okay. Zane Grey. I think somebody asked me about a Zane Grey book recently. I don't know why, but that's starting to sound familiar. What is everybody up to today? Anything special? Old Greek fairy tales. So, yeah, a lot of books. Thunderhead. I don't see anything special here in the book realm, so these will probably just end up at a standard shop in the market. I presumed it was paperwork like the last one. Bubble wrap making a comeback, right? Uh, this is her personal recordings. If you remember, there was some type of artistry going on here. Uh, I have to do some looking up, but that makes these kind of cool. Let me come over here and see if I'm showing this guy. I let my I left my heart at home. Ooh! Just ruined her copy of that one. Brilliant. What was it? Let's see what we just broke. Let America speak. Amen to that. Freedom of speech. The meaning of America. I love it. Demonstration recording El Camino Real by Nora Hunt and Bill Miggs. This is interesting. They were trying to be a band. All right. Bonnie. Legal attorney, business contract, sheet music. Oh, joy. Lots of sheet music. Is this the ones that he wants? No. We're looking for two books, so I don't know what they are. Something about Napoleon, but maybe these might be kind of cool. Let's see here. Ah. The Plate of Francis. I almost want to keep these just because this is every painting I've ever wanted to find. In the... This is kind of cool. I like this book, though. The Art Studios. And it's got these little printed copies of artwork in here. Pattern books of Mama Lee Lane, it says on here. I'm going to set this aside because I am i don't know what to do with it, but that seems like a cool book. I'm going to have to look up what that's worth. The Art Studios. No, what does that say? Arno Art Studios. Da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Okay, it's a four-part book here then, right? Volume 2, Netherlands, Germany, English. I like the Netherlands. More beautiful painting. I would love to find any of these, to be honest with you. I don't have to work no more. Just go YOLO, right? That's what it's all about. Let's 
something like that. That'd be nice to find. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Vienna, 1890 to 1920. Japan, history and art. That's kind of cool. These books will probably make it more to an Alameda flea market. These are cool. This is like a $5 book in my eyes versus like books that I have a hard time getting a dollar for. A Study of History. I don't want us reading that. Just imagine we're all, that moment was already in history, right? The Southern Barbarians, the first Europeans in Japan. In the Shadow of Fujisan, okay. The Genius of Japanese Design. That could be a good book. I'm digging those. I'm digging those. These will end up in the Alameda pile, I guess. Is this a wedding album? Yep. This one says music. Music is joyful, right? Oh, yeah. Chopin. Sheet music. Chopin. Chopin. Big one here. Another big one. Pretty thick, I should say. Schumann. Ludwig von Beethoven. That's probably a good one. Original version, unedited. Beethoven. That sounds kind of cool. It looks like it's in a different language, though, but I don't know. Nice. I don't know if, if these have any value. I'll have to look them up. Most likely something like this as well will end up in our Alameda piles because this is a little bit a little bit bigger, a little bit better uh, style music sh music books. Those are in Japanese, and then we got more German. It looks like the Magic Flute. They people were playing some music, weren't they? All right. So yeah, all types of sheet music right there. As you remember, they had a lot of cool instrument style things they had the violins they had the accordion which we i think we might have a sale on what else bagpiping they were bagpipers for sure da, 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 da. you never know what's in any box that's all i could tell you it doesn't matter what it's labeled and what it says you know you find random stuff I found a one time i remember i was like hey we don't find uh jewelry in a kitchen box and then you open it up and in the pot was a gold ring it makes no sense right it's just the way it goes wow video cleaner you you hooty mini hooting oh this is a cool one romeo and juliet ballet love story who don't like a good love story right so he's nice to be in love to be loved we got Prince Igor right here. We got Joseph Gingo Masterclass. It looks like all VHS tapes, so we'll probably just kind of call that box a wrap. Master Teacher Series, Ivan Goliamiamian. That probably, again, this seems like a very much so Alameda style. That fits the motif, right? Youth books, hard book classics, something non-booky soon. That'd be really nice. Something non-booky. There's got to be something non-booky. Um, what the heck? Walking in space, to be determined. Gone with the wind. I don't know what these are, like books or something? Portraits of Washington. Anybody have an idea what are these? Indian Mass, Washington Soldier, Thomas Jefferson, VJ Day. Huh, that sounds like a fun day. We got Declaration of Independence, The Wright Brothers, Betsy Ross, Jungle Warfare. I have no idea what these are, though. I feel like they're little books or something. Stories. King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. These look like school books almost. Robin Hood. That's what's up. That's a good book right there, probably. Looks like all books in here again, so we'll just kind of just thumb through, make sure there ain't some crazy book safe. No, I don't see one. There's more of these things coming out of here, and I just don't know what they are. Looks like Martin Luther King, Geronimo, First Day of Thanksgiving, the Alamo, a bunch of whatever those things go to. So I don't know if they have value, but we'll find out one day soon here. Fox and the Hound. What is that? Isopes Fables. Okay. Copyright 1885. Old books here. 
Um, I thought this might have been the one I was looking for. But the hard part about buying a unit with somebody and then them disappearing after you move it is you got to be back here looking for something that you might have saw. The wisdom of the wisdom of China and India. Okay, I couldn't read the word. And for some reason, they put those, the complete book of William Shakespeare, for some reason, they put these in plastic as if they were more concerned. But, once again, it's books. Now, these people paid to have these books sit in a storage for years, by the way. Years, these, these books and their other items of personal effects that we've found so far. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't think that's special. I don't think that's super special, but it's old and nice, maybe 50 to 100 bucks, I'm guessing. It could be old, though. It's hard to tell. They didn't have a lot of new cheap stuff, but that's definitely wood. These are. These looked like they had an annoying time being wrapped and just wrap masks on label boxes. It's got some type of sticker, but all it says is 9470E. That's kind of cool. That's probably another $50 to $100 bill. I don't see that as being a rare piece because these are very touristy. Very, very touristy and it doesn't scream like something. All right, it's got a, it's got a soulmate. Ooh. I still never did figure out what this is, but we're just gonna set this aside. I think it's maybe a mailbox or something. What is it? Yeah, this was their mailbox. Kind of cool, I guess. what this went to either because we don't have a lot of stuff from the storage unit this went on something but what i don't know let's share let's get some uh activity here what do we got oh okay plushies are making a comeback i know a lot of people selling those imprellos kazuhide marathi i don't know what that means i think that's their name opposable opposable arms that's not a stipe or anything there Made in England to international standards. It's got some. This is a bourbon. Oh, crap. It is. Nice. That might be a jackpot. What do you guys think? I've never found a Burberry bear. This is official Burberry. That's kind of cool. I know. I, the, the, this was kind of a giveaway right here. But then you see the sticker here. It says Burberry made in England. I've never found a Burberry bear. What's that worth? I'm going to hit that aside there. Okay. Here we have nothing there. Here we have, uh, this is a Hiromachi Nakano collection of Taraka. Look at the arms on that guy. All right, here we have a 1987 Smith's Man Institution, Smithsonian, the Smithsonian teddy bear. They're all a similar, like opposable, similar arms. Um, the Burberry was tight though. Boyd's, here's a Boyd's collection, which is just, it's all right, kind of cute. This is a Dokken, a Dakin. They all have the same opposableness. And yeah, that seems like the gist of it there. I don't know much about the rest of them, but I do think that Burberry bear is a little value there. What do you guys think has been making me the bestest money on the 5,600 I spent? So when you find stuff like that, I mean, we got the military items, which are going to get us four grand. On the something day of Christmas, somebody gave to me. Very well made stuff. Stuff is not made like this nowadays. That is a beautiful towel set right there. What's up with that? Might have to take that. Merry Christmas. That would look, probably look cool in the kitchen. Here's another one. And then it's got a little towel with cats on it. Candy cane lug lane mugs. You know if they've got ornaments. Another ornament. This is an elegant top. Beautiful. Christmas elegant top. All right. Those are kind of cute little drink shaker thingies. Some apples. An apple a day. 
what they say. Da, 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 da. Caden's porcelain Christmas tree music box. This is made by Otagari Gibson Greetings Tottenbaum. Easter is holy, holy crap. They made a, a, their own personal ornament. That one has a photo in it. Cute little bear. And we got a lot of these little guys. Russ. What's in here? Oh, that's kind of cool. A little pewter by Creed of the Three Wise Man, maybe? And that's kind of tight. I like that. Little pewter pieces of the Three Wise Men and Baby Jesus. I almost said Baby Jeebus. <sighs> 10 years, 20 years. Now, if a person has had that stuff for that long, they don't need it. What they've done is they've spent more money than they need to, and they are not um, living their life to the fullest to the point they've dragged their life down holding on to things instead of spending time or their money, right? So the way I look at it is storage units are a big waste of money. Yes, I am in business, cousin. So A, I don't feel bad because of that. B, the one person I do feel bad about is the children. When I find the presents that they made or things that they've done in their life, like awards, those are the things that make me feel bad. Reason why is I do know what it's like to lose a storage unit. When I was 14 years old, uh, maybe 13, somewhere around there, my parents were heavily addicted to methamphetamine. We ended up homeless. And when we ended up homeless, uh, all of our stuff was in a storage unit. Their best friend at the time forged a note to the storage facility telling the manager he had authorization to move our storage unit. He took everything we owned and he sold it. And then what he didn't sell, he put in a bonfire. And I don't know, because of that, I've never, that things like that have coded me to the fact that it's just material thing. And then I do this job forever. And if that was real, that'd be freaking amazing. It makes me um, not care for things. I don't care for things. I care for events, uh, time, moments, et cetera, et cetera. We're trapped in this world making money because we have to to survive, but the fact is it's just things. And the average person should let go far before they ever got to that point and enjoy their life. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm cold, cold when it comes to that. Battle of the 20th century, and the rest is encyclopedias. Indiana University, Ooh, here we go. This looks kind of cool. I'm liking this book. Look at that, an old, old Bible. I like the bindings on it. I like the little woo-hoo right there. See that? I like that book right there. No, nope, no money. Uh, I don't see any damn Napoleon books. My buddy's gonna need to go look because I am not finding any books that I'm supposed to be finding and I'm almost out of stuff. That's interesting. Looks like military books. Hmm. A lot of stuff I can't read. It's in another language. It's finished. Just like me in this store, I'm almost finished. Got like three more boxes here. Hmm. Nope. A Hummel by MJ Hummel. I don't know how much value that has. They paid a lot of money to have things framed. The Yewadaya Menehuen School, 80th birthday. All right. Zygerweizen Pablado Sastre Alegro. I don't know. Well, that's kind of cool. They paid a lot of money to have these frames. And I think that's it for in there. Yeah. That one is it for in there. Okay. Children's books. Oh, dog books. Joy. Well, that's a good one. Cats. Cats. Cats, cats, cats. Heavy. Antonio from Pop's Library, A Grief Observed. The Roo. Finnish Mystical Theology. Hey, that sounds kind of cool. Nineteen fifty two Santa Barbara La Ombre. That was kinda cool. Your books are always uh decent sales in my opinion. Some type of little diary here. Nothing important, just minimal notes. Food morning good morning. Oh, it's learning to speak another language. 
Mm, guess let's go through this, I guess, see what it is. It looks like almost cool books. Another yearbook. Uh, United States Military Academy. That's pretty tight because he did go to uh, West Point. Hale County History. All right. 961. 1900 convenient of the sacred heart covenant that's a high school i think a catholic school in the bay area could be wrong though finnish dictionary let's see what these are oh maybe these are napoleon books let's see i don't freaking know what i'm looking for i really don't i just know he said there's two napoleon books all right wow this is an autograph book he had everybody sign this book every day. This is pretty wicked. Donald Smith, San Mateo, Seacliff, San Francisco, Seacliff, Linda Wood, Seacliff, okay, Robbins, hello, Wilfred Robbins. This is kind of nuts. I want to look into this more. Thank you for the nice home evening. Yeah, that's kind of wicked. I like that book right there. The Forgotten War. I don't know if there is such a thing. Oh, wow. Now we're really getting to some crazy yearbooks here. The Oregano. Mildred Huntress. Okay. Oregon State. Oh, yes. It's another freaking... Uh, this is from West Point. We found one of these yesterday. It's a West Point yearbook. That is tight. I got to get that to my guy for show. Faux show. He was a colonel in the military, guys. That's what he did. Oh, yes. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Another another West Point military yearbook. And this one has some type of information in it. First aid guide, okay. Put that one with that one. I think we got more of them here. The Howitzer, look at that, for 1938. I don't know what the West Points go for, but... This is cool. It's got a print in it, a litho. And I think there's one freaking more. Yep, 1937. Wow. Well, that is pretty tight. So we got 1937, 38, and 39 West Point yearbooks. I'm very excited about that now. These are some pretty wicked books right here. All sorts of them. I'm, I'm pretty impressed by this one right here. The construction of Camp Origin and Camp Orenhagen. I think that's pretty tight. This is like a, a military document uh, by Richard Maybe on a, the, camp, the construction of this military base. Wow. Last box in this storage. I don't know what happened to the box I was looking for, but please be something freaking good. Hmm. Really? Manila envelopes. I'm going to be real upset if it turns out Matthew has the whole box I've been looking for in his garage and he didn't go look for it. I'm going to be really upset with him because this doesn't look Richard M. Maybe business stationery. Maybe something cool in here. Let's see. Uh, whoa, why couldn't I find that harpsichord? It's a beautiful wedding right there. All right. Look at that gold, gold stuff. That would have been nice. No. The one beauty is this will be my last video in this storage and I could finally start selling these little things we found today and then make the move and alleviate this storage. I am about, this storage, I purchased over a month ago, guys. Over one month ago, I spent 5,600 on this storage and we have not done much of it since. This is, I want to touch those, but it's not good to. It's a house. They're all films, Mary's toys. Uh, I don't want to say that word, even though it's a name. I'll probably end up with a freaking strike or something for using those terms. What are these? Oh my gosh. Really? The gifts equal money. You guys are throwing money at me? Oh my gosh. I like it. Throwing money at me. Um, the boxes behind me, I'll show you what those are. Let me give you an example. And if you want to buy one, let me know. Because I got like 4,000 of them.
I got about 3,000 of these. They're called Curafes, Crafts. If you remember, I bought a unit not too long ago. I gotta wash my hand with some of my gallon of water out here just because, look, glass everywhere. That's so dangerous. So yeah, there's uh, behind that is 125,000 masks. I have 125,000 masks from the same storage unit. If you remember, it was like, I titled it a million dollars in merchandise. The masks were $24 a piece online. So I don't know what to do with these. We're just gonna kind of strap those back in here. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty tight, Olympic game films. See that? It's Olympic stuff here. That could be, this could be money right here. Look at that fool yoked. What the hell is in his hand? Looks like a turkey, making me hungry. I'm going to go eat now. I haven't eaten all morning. Logging pictures. Oh, frick you. Yeah. That's, what, that's what I've been wanting to get to is the logging postcards that my buddy has. Mmm, come on. These are historical right here, I think. Look. So these people were involved in this time history here. So this is a whole set of... I don't want to touch them because I don't have gloves on. You're not supposed to touch these things. So I'm going to try... I'm just going to leave these alone. For now. Until I get my rubber gloves on. Mary's christening. Films of uh, family. Going away pictures. Picnic films. L little girls and Mildred and Nana's. Are Mary's pictures. Alright, so this is a good little box right here. This one little box is for certain a valuable box, and we'll set that aside because the logging ones I think are very historical, and we got a lot of logging to go through still. Ulu pictures. Okay. Ah, jackpot, yes. Wedding photos, maybe? That's beautiful. Look at those haystacks. That's freaking tight. Imagine finding, that's what this business is like, finding needles in haystacks. And that's what we just did. This is kind of like a needle in haystack. Our house pictures in Seattle. Let's see what it looked like in Seattle. Probably depressing because they only got to like the Seahawks probably back then. Not shout out to Seahawks. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Athletic field films. See, I don't want to touch these because they're all, I was hoping there would be some black and whites here. Astro Court, Mother's Dad's Houses, Film Snow Pictures, awesome. Old Films, bummer, those are gonna be, see, I don't know what to do about that. I, I can't touch them all, cause then we're gonna ruin them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a great unboxing, I think. We're finally done with that $5,600 unit. Let me know if you thought it was worth it. I really think it is. The military clothes and photos are going to yield us about $4,000. That pays us almost back. Quite sure we'll make something. Hope you all enjoyed it.